What's going on, y'all? Brother Doug here. Just want to start off by saying Happy New Year. I hope you all had a blessed New Year's. You know, ate some gumbo on me or for me. <laughs> you know, I had some gumbo too. My mama's gumbo. And I know some of y'all are probably asking, why does Doug have a hat on? He never has a hat on. Well, one, it ain't because I have a bad hair day. Because you know, I always keep a fresh one. Secondly, I, but before I start on the topic, uh, I just want to say my prayers going out to the folks out there in uh, Fort Lauderdale. You know, I just got word that you know there was a shooting out there in Terminal Two or Terminal One, one of the terminals. But you know, I mean, <laughs> hey. So let's talk about something positive. Uh, so as you know, this year I said that I would start doing uh, Black Panther movie discussions, just like I do my Power Rangers movie discussions. So, uh, continuing on that phase, uh, let's talk about Sterling K. Brown's uh, casting. He's going to play a character called Njobu. Now, as a Black Panther fan myself, I'm like, who is Njobu? But, uh, turns out he's going to be like the Coulson of uh, Black Panther. Uh, somebody from Black Panther's past, per se, he's an original character. You know how Coulson uh, was an original character for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then somehow crawled his way into the uh, mainstream comics because there's a he's he's uh, one of the main leaders in the shield comics i don't read them but i just you know see the little previews here and there on uh, comic book resources so i don't know if his character is going to show up uh in flashbacks or he's just going to appear you know somebody from t'challa's past you know maybe it's childhood or whatnot maybe somebody who trained him uh you know to become a great fighter before he took on the black panther mantle i don't know at this point you know it's all on kugler so i know some of y'all are wondering who is this brown uh actor uh so who is this brown actor <laughs> his last name is brown you know i'm not implying that his skin well i mean he's, he's black but anyway so last year he was in the show a little mini series called uh the people vs oj that was a good show man it, it's funny because you know i was little when all that happened i was what four years old when the when the trial was going on and to see it play out like that on screen is, is just amazing because you know when you're a kid you know you don't pay no mind to the news like that but as you get older you start seeing the facts and start seeing how everything went down you know a, a great elaboration on things you're like wow all that took place <laughs> and he's also on this show the nbc show uh this is us now i haven't seen that show but i've seen like little commercials previews here and there it looks like a good show but you know I'm very, you know, time is just not my friend. <laughs> so last year on my birthday, I was given a book by a friend uh, called uh, The Ultimate Collection, The Complete Collection, uh, you know, basically all of Chris Priest's uh, work. Uh, he's one of my favorite writers, one of my favorite writers when it comes to Black Panther, at least. Um, it's just an amazing book. And I was as, as I was reading it, I finally got a chance to read it this year, earlier this year, well, last year, like around November, October, November-ish. Anyways, I read it, <laughs> the point blank. Um, and I was looking at some of the uh, stories, and I'm thinking, these are my predictions, so, you know, if you don't want to be spoiled, you know, definitely uh, have a nice day, but if you don't care, you just want to follow uh, your predictions, we can, you know, hypothesize about stuff, continue. Um, I think that Lupita Nyong'o's character is going to somehow break uh, Manape out of jail, and uh, he's going to be like her lackey, because remember, Lupita Nyong'o is playing... Uh, uh, Black Panther's ex, who's also a villain, uh, Malice. So supposedly, Malice might release uh, the, the Man Ape from prison, and then her and Killmonger and uh, Claw perhaps might team up. Maybe they might combine some of Priest stories as well as Reginald Hudlin stories. Because on the first uh, Reginald Hudlin arc, uh, the Who Is Black Panther, you know, uh, uh, Claw had uh, a muscle man, and the muscle man was. Depending on what series you start with, because uh, they adapted his arc, who is Black Panther, for BET, you know, the BET cartoon. Uh, instead of uh, using Rhino on the comics, they used Juggernaut from the X-Men, you know, because the rights with Spider-Man, the TV rights and whatnot. Uh, anyway, they, the Claw still had a muscle, so if maybe uh, Malice might team up with Claw and they might use uh, Emanape as their muscle. To, uh, you know, take over Wakanda because you know, Manape did at one point want to become Black Panther and want to rule Wakanda, but you know, we saw that end result. So, I gotta say, man, I love this cast. I love, 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 love this cast, man. It's great to see an all black cast. Now, I know some of y'all gonna flash at me, well, Doug, I thought you were a supporter of diversity. I am, I am, but again, I'm gonna always bring up where are the black people in Lord of the Rings? So, anyways, how do you guys feel about Black Panther? How do you feel about Sterling K. Brown's casting? Uh, what are your predictions on Nujobo, the character that he's playing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And like always, deuces. And my prayers are out to Fort Lauderdale.